Hello and welcome to the show. I am here on a besiege. I'd forgotten I hadn't done a video on the uh, the, the the new level, the new area uh, for this game. There's new bits and pieces for your vehicle as well. So I am going to have a go at it. Our first first level, we have to kill some knights. Ah, uh, they're they're all <laughs> they're they're not the best armed knights. I have to say they have got bugles. Not that they're not world renowned uh, for their offensive capabilities, but uh, <laughs> there we go. Uh, right, what do we got to do with these? Uh, what have we got to do weaponry wise? There are some new weapons to uh, play around with. We have got the drill for the front, uh, a lovely, deadly looking piece of uh, piece of machinery, and I think the only other new thing I haven't seen these small torches. I'm not quite sure. Uh, that looks like it's just da dangerous for me catching myself on fire with that. Uh, so I'm not going to be using that. And we have a shrapnel cannon that uh, fire, well, fire, sh fire shrapnel, I assume, is designed to kill people as opposed to breaking walls and so on. So I'm thinking that could be a pretty good call for this level. We will go shrapnel cannon and drills. Uh, but first of all, we need a basic vehicle. We Do we want to go for, maybe go for a little bit longer one, perhaps? Eh, sure, we'll go for that sort of... I'll probably strengthen the middle as well. Uh, what well, well, easy easy mistake to do is to have like these great big contraptions and then have like a, a silly little thing trying to support it all. Because my idea was going like this and then having drills on the front. Where are we go? Drills on the... probably at this level here, otherwise it's going to be too low. Drills at the front and then maybe... Do shrapnel cannons mount? Ah, no, they don't mount that way. So shrapnel cannons... oh, not up there. We don't want them up there, and have shrapnel cannons on the top. Uh, that may not work, they may be a little bit too high. Maybe if we have shrapnel cannons at the back. So we have them there. We could even have sort of normal cannons. Do we need normal cannons? Probably not. Do we want normal cannons? Oh, we could go for a flamethrower, actually. Yeah, why not? We'll go for a flamethrower down there. Uh, <laughs> steering, yes. Can I remember how to make the steering? I think, if I remember correctly, we go that way around there. And then that way around at the back. I tend to prefer using the steering hinges over the uh, the steering blocks themselves. These you tend to get steered a little bit quicker and so on. Uh, you can do tank controls, but I much prefer having it this way around. Now, other new stuff, we have got new wheels to play with. And they, it looks like, actually it's good call making it bigger. I think these will now actually fit on here. We've got new wheels. We have got these little diddy wheels as well that you can put on if you want. Uh, you've got some various cogs as well for much more complicated machinery than that I would be able to make. And there's an unpowered wheel option as well. Right, so set this on the ground, I think. Have I, have I remembered what it is? Yeah, I have remembered what it is to fire the flamethrower. Okay, vehicle. Ah, we have functioning steering. Right, drills. We will go, um, well, we might as well get... Uh, <laughs> yeah, okay, right. I was going to get you with the drills. Instead, I'll just do that. I love how he's still bugling while on fire. <laughs> <laughs> pay, pay absolutely no attention to the fact that there is a great big machine with three drills and flamethrowers coming towards your face. And when you're on fire, you still... That's, that's, that's dedicated bugling over there. Uh, right, we will uh, go straight, straight in for the kill on him. Uh, I'm thinking we may actually try the, uh, the cannons out here. Da, 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 da. I forgot how uh, interesting this stuff is to get turned. What was it C, I think, to fire the cannons? Something like that, if I remember paid enough attention. Right, oh, we panicked one of them. Uh, he's still bugling, just panicked slightly, so C! Oh, we made a mess of stuff. Wasn't quite the same spray I was expecting from them. I think we need a lot more of them. I've just realised I forgot bracings. Just looking at this thing here, wobble. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, reversing into them is just a viable tactic. I think we may have... Oh, good God, that, the fence just disintegrated at the sight of the drills. It panicked, and there was much explosions of wood. All right, we'll get rid of you chaps over here. No, come here. Don't run away. Oh, there we go. Oh, not just, it's not just a fence either. The walls disintegrate at the sight of this vehicle. Oh, it is. Okay, the um, cannons may have ever so slightly weakened the back of this. I'm just looking at That's quite... Uh, uh, it's not really what we want to be seeing. Uh, we've got kind of independent rear suspension on the, uh, <laughs> on the back right there. Everything else, not so much. Oh. Uh, we've got some camber going on a little bit there as well. All right, can we get rid of that guy there? Yes, we can. Now we've just got to take out the two towers. Uh, I'm just trying to think what's best because this thing is already quite broken. I would rather not have a tower fall on it. As uh, Yeah, I think... Ah, wait, let's have a look over there. 
Ah, uh, they're kind of supported at the back. I think maybe going around the back may be a better option, actually. Oh, steer. Now, we'll climb over the rocks. If we lose one wheel, we may still be manageable. If we lose two wheels, we've had it. Uh, <laughs> basically, so I've got to be very, very careful with that, uh, ooh, with that wheel. I kind of don't want to... Uh, don't, definitely don't want the tower to fall on me. So if we go there... So, all right, this is sort of, this is surgical precision. Oh. Which did somebody else should die without me having to do anything? Oh, did he fall off? <laughs> I think he may have fallen off the tower on his own. I had nothing to do with that. He just uh, Oh, bloody hell. Uh could you not lightning strike me? That was kind of scary. I will be honest. Uh I think this is the last guy we've got to get. I'm just looking at the bar at the bottom. It doesn't look like it's particularly full, but, uh, right. Precision towering. Hey, it was the last guy. I could have just driven through it. But, um, yeah, I didn't expect the guy to jump off the tower. Maybe the lightning scared the crap out of him, and he, he, <laughs> he jumped off the tower to avoid it. We've made it through, forgetting the bracing completely, uh, with slightly dodgy rear sort of suspension bit. <laughs> we have done it, and take out the middle tower. Ta-da! And amazingly, that didn't set me on fire. Uh, <laughs> oh, off go the drills. They've got a mind of their own over there. Look at them dance. Uh, oh, they calm down because they're upside down now. Oh, they're still going. They, 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 they can hoover. Bloody hell, that lightning is dangerous. I, yeah, I'm really surprised that big goblet of fire didn't burn my entire vehicle down. But, uh, okay, we've made a mess of that area. Next zone, what are we tasked with doing here? Kill... oh, bloody hell. Kill 90% of the flock. So we've got to kill birds? Hmm. Okay. I don't quite know how I'm going to do that, but okay. Now, I'm thinking there are a couple of options we have here. We could go for a flying thing. I'm not very good at flying things. Maybe... <laughs> I've just come up with a really silly idea. I have no idea if this is going to work at all either. But, right, get rid of the drills. Drills are going to be no use. Flamethrowers, maybe... But I'm thinking shrapnel cannons. The design that I've kind of got going on in my head is if we were to build something up like this and then literally fill the top with shrapnel cannons, have them all uh, have them all bind to different keys, but I've got to run out of keys doing that with the amount of shrapnel cannons that I want to put on here. And maybe with a bit of luck, we will be able to take out these pesky birds. <laughs> And, oh, that's not quite where I wanted it to be. We may have to... I've completely fudged all of that up. <laughs> well done, me. There we go. That's, no, that's not what I wanted to do. We've got to build up to try and sort of get some strengthening on this, uh, this structure. Because the second we start firing off bloody shrapnel cannons, it's all going to start tearing itself apart, I suspect. But never mind. Da -da 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 -da. That is not particularly strong, but we'll brace the hell out of it. Somewhere over here. There we go. Stick just all of the braces, and maybe it won't fall apart the second we fire it. That's the hope. Uh, I'm, I'm, oh, no, that's not a good idea. <laughs> Don't attach the... Uh, oh, for God's sake, I've forgotten how much of a pain in the ass removing the braces were. Don't attach the things to the wheels. It's never a good idea. <laughs> it's never going to work doing that. Right. Uh, oh, we also missed out that one there. Okay. This is such a silly contraption. Uh, perhaps I should just test it first. Uh, oh, yeah, of course, that's never going to work, was it? Go away, bracing. We can't put the cannons on the brace bit itself, so we can't actually brace this top bit too much. Actually, what we'll do is we brace it down the sides and then just line the middle bit with cannons. That works, uh, hopefully. The <laughs> fingers crossed. Uh, to, ooh, go across. I think that ended up going through the wooden bit, but never mind. Doesn't matter. Right, so for our first... Ah, we will need to do... Hmm, ah, idea. I was going to say, we need, to a we need a way of aiming them up, but we could use a steering hinge, couldn't we? If we put steering hinges here, rotate them along like that. There we go. And then we will have to map them to a different key. I can't remember what keys do what, but we'll do T and Y for these. What's so <laughs> So now we have fully aimable shrapnel cannons, hopefully. Uh, okay, first test. I'm only going to go with uh, with three cannons. We will see how effective they are at uh, getting rid of the birds. Okay, we'll drive this uh, leviathan into... I wonder if actually will any of them fly into me. Ah! 
that's kind of helpful as well. We can... Uh, <laughs> we kind of made it tall enough so that some of them just clatter into me anyway. Uh, right, as far as aiming-wise goes, let's have a look at... Uh, oh, these are a real pain in the ass to... Uh, to, quite, to quite get. So if we aim them... Aim the cannons up. Uh, it was C, wasn't it? C! Didn't really do very much. Hmm. That's an issue, I fear. We will just re reset that ever so slightly. If I stick a bunch of cat, I just don't think these are quite powerful enough, really. Ah, that's also too close. Yeah, they're bigger than I was uh, than I was thinking. I'm just not sure that these cannons here are quite powerful enough to do what I want to do with them. Admittedly, the oh, uh, we're going to break some of them as well. If we just go sort of see, well, we took out the building, <laughs> the recoil killed our machine. I don't think the cannons are powerful enough. We could go for flamethrowers up there, but again, I'm probably not going to be able to build it. Oh, this is a shame. It was a good idea, but I'm probably going to be able to make it work. Bugger, that means I need to go for a flying thing. And I hate building flying things. They're so difficult to get right. Uh, right, okay. We're going to have to go for... Now, we don't have to worry too much about weaponry, because the birds can just... or will just fly into us. So I'm guessing the best way to go about this is to just try and have something that we can control quite easily. Uh, and saying that, that is very, very difficult for me. So, if we were to have a bunch of balloons, I don't know how many we need to get it off the air. Uh, off the air? Off the ground. More than that, and considering we're going to need some sort of movement, uh, I don't think balloons are going to work here. Oh, uh, we can put balloons on the side, can't we? That would work. But we need... To, we. St uh, the, I could perhaps get it into the air with these, but I am still going to need some... Okay, we can get it into the air quite nicely with that. Now we need to worry about control, though, so we need a forward, uh, sort of strafing as such, uh, backwards, and a... We do need a down, <laughs> if, if this is still going to be powerful enough to pick it all up in the air. We do need a down. Okay, so now if we press O, it's going to kind of all neutral itself. Oh, that's quite useful, actually. The down one is enough to counteract the balloons. Ah, fantastic. Okay. So now we just need to rejig all the controls. So we'll have for forwards, we will have... Oh, we'll have W... Uh, probably not, good, not such a good idea. Okay, we will have up arrow key there. We will have left arrow key there. We will have right arrow key on that one and reverse on the down arrow key and where can we have this other one that's down here actually I can stay on uh, you know what it might be better <laughs> just thinking I will rejig these uh, this control system I'll go this way around just keeping it close I was going to use the arrow keys but uh, bugger it we'll go for here and then O can be down so hopefully if we do that oh there we go okay it works it flies and then we can kind of just sort of sail it into here and kind of have it hover. Hover, hover, hover. Oh, where's down? There's down. Oh, we've missed ever so slightly. It's actually about the best controlling flying machine I have ever built. Uh, <laughs> we've got just the right number of balloons and we have enough control. Oh, well, I say enough control. We have just about enough control here to, uh, <laughs> to do the job. And the dumb birds just fly around in circles. Aha! Uh -huh. Look at it work! Fantastic! Oh, oh, no, that's wrong keys. Wrong keys. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. Uh, back. There we go. There we go. Keep it under control. Keep it under control. We're a little bit too high, I think. Not quite in the right place. Aha! Uh -huh. Got more of the buggers. Uh <laughs> there we go. And down some more. Oh, it's just... <laughs> uh, it, I, I, I'm really quite pleased with how well this sort of this thing works. Oh, these little buggers are really hard to hit, though. Just getting these last few birds. I'm trying to figure out where they come. There. Oh, we got some more. We're so close. Hey, guys. Just don't mind me in my, well, dodgy flying machine. Victory is mine. Uh, we will not do very much to that tower. Oh, <laughs> And away with my floating helicopter contraption. I mean, this is probably about the easiest way. I'm sure there is other ways of doing this level. This is probably the easiest way and requiring the least amount of bloody blocks to do it. Uh, can we actually take out this building if I wanted to? I don't think we've got the strength. Oh, we've landed. There we go. Uh, right. 
That'll do. That works, at least. I, just, I do want to try and take the tower down. Uh, nope. We're not really strong enough to take the tower down. Disappointing. Okay. Next zone. What do we have to deal with? Oh, bloody hell. Uh, hmm. Destroy the scout balloons. Well, I don't see why this contraption here shouldn't work. We don't have any weaponry. This is going to be an issue. But let's just let's just give it a test. Okay. Now, I don't know how much damage we will have to do to the scout balloons uh, for them to go down. If we just have to knock them. Knock them. Oh, aha. It works. Fantastic. It's working. Plan is working. Controllable vehicle is doing the job. Uh... And through there as well. <laughs> Success! This is the best design I think I've ever built. Or the most efficient design, I should say. It's not exactly spectacular, but for a flying machine, it works perfectly. Okay, next zone. What have we got to be dealing with uh, up here? I don't think flying machine is going to be... Ne ne uh, what are we de I don't even know what we... What are we dealing with? Are that is that cows with bombs that we <laughs> okay do they come towards me or is it just a case of oh let's just remember what my controls are come on flying machine okay all right so it's kamikaze cows that do kind of come towards me here that's slightly scary uh if i just hover above look i'm here now can we get the points and be happy oh dear lots of oh we can <laughs> <laughs> yes, we shall use the uh, the fail race. Uh, I'm not quite sure. Fail race hot air balloon, I guess. Is I was going to call it helicopter, but it's kind of not really a helicopter, is it? Because it's, it's using balloons. We have got all sorts of kamikaze cows beneath us. Right. Oh, careful now. Careful now. We don't really have any. Uh, we have a strafe controls. Oh, bloody hell! Oh, get there! Get there! To the thing! No, oh, can we can we make it if we just sort of reverse and steer? Yes, we can! The kamikaze cow- <laughs> The fair race chopper is still going strong. I think the cows ran themselves into a wall. And the updraft from the explosion was enough to mess with my, uh, with my vehicle. But the fair race- the fair race chopper is doing- holy crap. Uh, <laughs> destroy the- the convoy- destroy all of the convoy? Do they have weapons on there? Do they fire said weapons? Uh, the fair race helicopter may not be quite so good at this bit here, uh, unless unless like us just going sort of like this works. No, <laughs> it's sort of just lightly brush the vehicle, lightly brush. Uh, I mean, maybe can we force it into the ground? No, it's slightly, it's ever so slightly stronger than us. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on. The fair race helicopter is going to have some improvements, but we may have—I may have an idea that'll work. Okay, weaponry spikes on the underside. Now I'm—we've st still got to pray that we have enough lift for this to get off the ground. We don't. Ass. Uh, also, we do have kamikaze cows around. Can we? Oh, we might be able to get another balloon in the middle. Oh, I think have these things got. Adjustable buoyancy. They might have done. I may have gone just completely and utterly overkill on the balloons for no good reason. Because uh, I think... Do they have adjustable buoyancy? Ah, they do. Right, so if we have that 150 in the middle, is that going to be enough? Right, because we've got to be very careful now not to have them uh, to... Uh, keep them balanced, basically. Not have it to uh, flop over. So if we go 150 around there, release... Still, it's closer, but it's still not enough. So we we'll have to go for these ones here at 100. So the whole top lot here is 150, I think. Now uh, we'll do these as well. Everything balanced. So the side ones are just sort of a bit of stability. Fantastic, right? Fail race. Uh, oh Jesus, we need a more powerful. Uh... <laughs> okay, that needs to that needs to be a lot more powerful. Flight speed 125. We'll see. Is that enough to pull it down? It is. Why is it now not going up? What have I done? So that making that more powerful has suddenly made it all heavier. Ah, ah! I think I've, I think I may have. Uh, did I change something in there? Maybe I put that, that one there down. Okay. Still not really powerful enough to put us, pull us down again. Hmm. Are we going to need a couple more of these now? Now, we're, now we're going to do this, and now we're not going to have enough lift to get it off the 
ground? Of course. That's just the, the way it goes. This is going to be a real pain in the ass getting the balance right. Because <laughs> if I... Oh, how on earth am I going to do this? How am I going to do this? Because I, if I upgrade these, I have to upgrade all the corners. Otherwise, it will not... Ah, ah I haven't got them at maximum. Is that everything? I swear I changed them. Maybe I didn't. Okay, are we now good to lift it up? Yes, we've got the Fairways helicopter. Fairways helicopter is back in full effect. Fantastic. Okay, right. <laughs> Time to take out the uh, the convoy here then. So doing that. Holy crap! <laughs> That's not what I quite expected to happen. The spikes are more than capable, but uh, we made it. We made. <laughs> <laughs> this is fantastic. Uh, oh, we're not going up again. Why are we not going up again? Has something forgotten that it's buoyant? Uh, no, they're all good. They're all good. They're all fine. Uh, go. Why are we not going up? Uh, it went up absolutely fine the first time, and now we're having issues. Oh, what's, what's happened? Why is my vehicle unhappy with me? You were doing so well. Like the plan, it worked. Oh, there we go. I don't know what went on. Why, why, why all of a sudden it decided that it was having none of it? All right. Oh dear. Okay. Now we're a little bit too high. Yeah. The uh, the lack of. Uh, oh. What am I pressing? Ah, I'm pressing the wrong keys. That would explain why I got, <laughs> got myself slightly confused on the uh, on the keyboard there. Now, what I'm thinking is we've got to be very careful of those spinny rotating blady bits. So maybe the four spikes weren't actually necessary on here, but never mind. So if we were just got like punch of the front. Uh oh, no, we're gonna go a little bit, a bit, little bit further in. So uh, I'm trying to puncture it without, uh, without taking myself down with it. That's quite difficult to do. Uh, oh, I think we've got to come down with more force. Ah, okay, right, more force on the back of the vehicle. Take out. Oh, we good. There's some small explosions. We've lost a couple of balloons, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is really difficult to do with uh, with this machine here. Uh, right, so we've got to bring you back. Oh, more! There's still more explosions going on. How on earth are we going to deal with uh, with these? I, I'm kind of thinking that maybe something like a shrapnel cannon might work for these. Uh, oh, but then we've got all of the silly weight to deal with. Uh, which way do we want to be steering that? Oh crap! We want to come back. Yeah, come back and then go down and then back and then down and then back and then all oh it back and then we very nearly sort of killed ourselves with the oh. <laughs> uh oh uh oh uh oh uh oh hmm okay what i have learnt here is that while we are losing balloons we may actually still be in good enough condition to get these last two but you see i was what i just did spot that time round that was kind of useful is that uh, it doesn't take much on the blades themselves to uh, take the vehicle out of commission, basically. So my whole plan of kind of crushing it from the top is not necessarily uh, completely necessary to uh, take it out. But I've got to try and now uh, fight with what on earth I'm doing with this uh, with this vehicle. Oh, we want to go that way, and then down, and then back, and then oh, that's not that's not what we want to be doing. Down, backwards, th oh Christ, uh, back, that's this way, right, are we above the target yet? Where is the target? The target's over there, oh, we are kind of above the, the target. <laughs> this is not the easiest thing to control that I've ever built, I will be honest. So if we just sort of go, whoop, oh, we missed the thing that I was aiming for there. At least we are still lifting, we, are, we do kind of go down quite quickly now. Uh, oh, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, down, down, oh, no, that's P, that wasn't O, down, uh... God, <laughs> this is such a, a wonky thing that I've got going on right now. Uh, oh, no, we're not quite lined up there. All right, if we sort of back into that blade, maybe we can have it take itself out. Oh, it's not worked. Ah, we did take a blade out, but we took ourselves out a bit more. Arse. Hmm. I'm not quite sure what's the best plan with this thing now. What I could do... I don't want to do that. All right, if we get rid of the spikes, I'm just thinking... How much do spikes weigh in comparison to shrapnel cannons? I'm having a sneaking suspicion that they're probably lighter, but we shall try. So we'll spin around the cannons. Um, how do we want these? Would I be able... I probably won't be able to position it... I don't know if I'll be able to position it to fire the cannon backwards. 
So if we have that at one, that at two, that at three, and that one at four, we are far too heavy, as expected. Bugger. Uh, now that means I've got to go and up all of these things as well, I guess. Uh, hopefully, we can uh, we can find a. I'm just gonna go for maximum, and if that's too much, we can hopefully find a. Uh, a, a, a happy middle ground that means I can still get the vehicle to, to come down again. Ugh, even with all of them at max, it's still too heavy. Shrapnel cannons aren't going to work then. Shrapnel cannons, just it's not going to cut it. So they're, if they're too heavy for that, it's, yeah, we can't do it. Maybe I've just had a, a, a genius idea here. Flamethrowers... You see, these have got a charge, if you like. We're fighting wooden... Oh, please still come down. Oh, we've got a genius design. We've got a genius design by me. Uh, we do only have so much... Oh, God, this is a real a real f fight. We do have only so much charge with the flamethrower, but did that get the target? No, it didn't. Whoa. Oh, that's not the wrong, that's the wrong key. Oh. <laughs> we do have only so much fuel, but I'm guessing if we get it once, if we just light it, it should take out the whole thing. Right. Oh, good God. This thing. Now the buoyancy may be a little, uh, a little too strong for the downwards bit, but uh, never mind. This is such a right faff. There we go. One down. <laughs> didn't expect flamethrowers to be such a... Uh, I didn't think about flamethrowers being such a good option, but they are. They are fantastic for this kind of thing. All right. One down. We, yeah, we probably will. If I can't do it this time, we may have to... Re we have to rejig it so we only fire one at a time. There we go. Second one down. Da -da 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 -da. Ooh, careful, careful. Control. I would perhaps like a slightly more... Uh, ergonomic control system slightly more user-friendly control system for <laughs> for this thing i'm sure there is a better way of doing it this is the way that i have got work well i've got working it's just a pain oh that's too high please don't fail me now there we go got rid of that one oh and then one more to go <laughs> i can't believe i might get this <laughs> the fail race chopper is outstanding whether it be with spikes whether it just be on its own or whether it be with a huge amount of flamethrowers it is uh, <laughs> surprisingly surprisingly useful All right bye bye you there we go <laughs> we have been successful and away and how much fuel do we have left uh, decent amount looks like one of my kerbal designs to be honest the uh the Fair Race helicopter has uh, made its way through a number of the Oh wow, if you go so high it actually freezes stuff. That's pretty damn cool. Did not realise that, and then it will all shatter when we hit the ground. Yeah, we've made it through the first few levels of uh, of this this new area. The Fair Race helicopter is uh, is an outstanding achievement of, of my engineering. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with that. Anyway, that is it for this uh, this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye.